So we have certainly done studies with NAPS, and NAPS can give, in terms of learning and memory, almost as much benefit as a whole night of sleep. Now, the naps in our studies are 90-minute naps. They're not your 10-minute power naps. The reason is so that we let people go through a full 90-minute cycle so they can get both REM and non-REM. So, but we've also found that as you start to scale naps back, you can still get benefits after maybe 20 minutes. Now, the question then is, why do we get that? Because none of us usually sleep in that way. The way that the majority of industrialized nations sleep is what we call monophasically, which is one long bout of seven or eight hours at night, and then we're awake for 16. However, we may not have been designed to sleep that way. Because if you can track people's physiology, in the afternoon after lunch, maybe two, three, four in the afternoon, everybody has a physiologically measurable drop in your alertness. It's that thing where you're at a meeting in the afternoon and everyone's around the table and you start to get these head nods. You know, listen. It's not that people are listening to good music. What, what's happening is that they're falling prey to a naturally predisposed, genetically hardwired drop in your alertness. And if you look at cultures that have not been touched by electricity, many of them will sleep biphasically about six and a half hours at night and then they'll usually have that siesta-like activity in the middle of the afternoon. So we, we may not be sleeping the way in which we're sleeping. And I'll point a finger at a particular individual in the next segment of the talk as to why that's the case. I don't want to grow up. I'm a curious kid. The world has a hundred questions I can play with. So I'll open my arms and eyes and wonder every day till the day I die.